Hey, how's it going, everybody? I'm Brad Gagne, Mackie's senior multimedia producer and product specialist. Today, I'm here with Octopimp. What's up? I'm and uh, we're talking about live streaming and the DLZ Creator XS. Let's get into it. So, Octo, thanks for joining me, man. Again. Yeah, nice to be here. This even sounds like this sounds like a podcast. It's got the podcast sound to it. it that's the idea, man. Yeah. So, mm-hmm. the whole thing with DLZ Creator, it's like your fast pass to your first podcast. Okay. So, it's designed to get you a pro result, no matter your skill level. Okay. So you have you don't have to be a sound engineer to operate this thing. And the way that we do this mm-hmm. is through these different control modes. Okay. So in the system here, you have an easy mode, mm-hmm. an enhanced mode, and a pro mode. Sure. So it basically transforms the on-screen controls depending on your skill level or okay. your creative style. Nice. Yeah, because you may be a pro, but you're like, man, I want to run and gun, be quick, yeah. easy. Mm-hmm. You I know, don't have and, time to set everything up. Yeah. Right. And there's there's certain things that how this operates. So you choose your control mode, what you want to be in. And then we also have our mix agent technology, and this kind of takes it a step further. So this is a proprietary tech that Mackie's put together, and you have a setup assistant in here. So you just kind of follow the on-screen instructions, like tells you to turn up the volume to allow audio to pass through the mixer. Mm -hmm. Um, It's going to show you where to hook up your headphones. Okay. Okay. And it actually will play a music bed of audio so you can get a proper listening level. Oh, sure. Okay. There's help sections in the mixer as well. Uh-huh. So, like, if you're not hearing anything, tells mm-hmm. you, like, hey, check your adapter. Make sure yeah. you're plugged in the right place. Sure. Like, yeah, hold yeah, your yeah. hand through the whole process. Awesome. We also, it tells you where to connect your microphones. Mm-hmm. And we have presets in here for all of the popular mics, like mm-hmm. the Shure SM7B, mm-hmm. SM58, all mm-hmm. of our microphones, of course. So, we're currently mm-hmm. using our EM99B, which is our broadcast microphone. Okay, cool. And uh, how do you think it sounds? Sounds great. I sounds mean, good, right? Through the monitor, it sounds really great. Yeah. What you're hearing is what's being recorded right now. Right, of course. So, I'll just show you how this works. So, we could select your mic that you're currently using. Okay. We'll just hit next. And then the next feature that we have, part of the mix agent, is called right. the auto gain. Okay. So we're gonna we're gonna demonstrate that real quick. So okay. what I'll do is I'll just hit listen and set for me, and you're gonna talk into the mic like mm-hmm. you would normally would. Right. You're not gonna hear anything while you're talking. It's gonna be analyzing the input signal, and okay. it's gonna set your preamp for you, your gain stage. Sure. That way, there's no like distortion or anything like that. So we'll do that real quick. Okay. So you come in and talk into the mic like you normally would. That's uh, it. Probably just taking some levels. Oh, look at now. It sounds a little different. And that's it, okay. man. Yeah, so that way, if like you were clipping a little bit, it yeah. basically just keeps that level down for oh, you. Oh, that's so nice. And uh, as you can see, how that could be really quick and convenient. You know, mm-hmm. you just put your microphones up, have them talking to the mic where they're sitting, where they're comfortable, and right. then boom, it sets the level for you. Oh, that's so cool. I love that. Then the next uh, options here, you're going to have your input sources for your Mm -hmm. other devices. So Mm -hmm. we have channel three, four, you have a line level input. Mm -hmm. You can plug in like uh, any stereo signal. So like if you wanted to expand the amount of inputs that you have, Mm -hmm. um, you could take an additional like Mackie mixer, take the main outs of that and feed it into here. And then now you've got an expansion if you need multiple inputs or if you're like a keyboard player you want to live stream playing an instrument the synthesizer a drum machine right stuff like that you also have an option to play back from a disc so i could play audio back from my sd card or from my thumb drive uh-huh. um, you have line five six which is a, a line level input it's an aux input so you can mm-hmm. plug your phone directly in mm-hmm. and then we also have bluetooth with call-in support you have six sample pads with the dedicated volume control yeah of course, right? You got, you, what, what would a podcast be without an air horn button and yeah. the Wilhelm scream? You could do like a re-trigger mode, so mm-hmm. it will constantly replay, play and stop. You also mm-hmm. have looping features. Okay. So a beat can loop. Mm-hmm. Um, you can do stuff like that as well, which is sure. awesome. So like, and if these you're, are all totally programmable? Yeah. Awesome. Yep, That's it comes so with cool. six preset, but there's multiple banks in here. Yeah. So you can upload your own sounds, like your intro, outro music. Right, of course. And then uh, connecting your computer. So this is a multi-track audio interface, so I can plug it into my computer. All of my inputs will show up. So like if you use Logic, uh, Premiere, whatever you're using, will mm-hmm. show all the inputs. And then you can record those into your into your DAW. And we're doing this all on the the access itself, right? Like yeah. This is all we're not using. We're just not plugged into a computer currently. No. Yeah. So it's complete. It's cool. completely standalone as yeah. well. So yeah. I have an SD card in here right now, and right. we're basically recording everything down to the disc. Right. So you don't have to use a computer, which mm-hmm. is super convenient. Right. And so yeah. that's that's nice that it works either way, right? Like it can yep. work as its own standalone thing, or in conjunction with a computer in order to get like streaming stuff or whatever it is. Yeah. Both at the same time. Yeah. Actually, so sure. you can record to the disc as a backup and then have it running into your computer as yeah, well. Yeah, yeah, very cool. Yep. You have outputs to studio monitors. So if you're using it in a, in a setting like that, you can set it up that way. Or you can actually, since it is a digital mixer, you could use it live. Yeah, you have yeah, all yeah. that processing in here, and we'll get into that. And basically, your setup's complete. The other feature that we offer with the mix agent is your auto mix. Right. And I'll let you demonstrate that too. So basically, sure. what this does, it allows you to share priority of gain between the microphones. Okay. So like if you're hosting the show, I'll put your microphone at the highest priority. Mm-hmm. 
and I'll put mine at a at the other one. So when you go ahead and talk, sure, okay, I'm talking and I'm right trying now. Trying to talk over okay, you, but yeah. I can't. But you can't. Too bad. You can try, but you wait can't. a second oh, here. Man. Oh, I've oh, taken man. over, man. I'll just let... Okay, <laughs> bring, bring it back to the other one. I liked it better that way. Ah, uh, there we go. Okay, so, okay. that's nice. That's yeah. really cool. You've got equal weight as well, so uh -huh. it kind of shares between the two, so sure. it's like an even level. Okay, yeah. That's but nice. this is convenient for somebody that's like, hey, I want to focus on the content, the show. I don't want to have to worry about running over to the faders to adjust levels, you know, eliminating the sound engineer, you know. We may be out of a job pretty soon. Yeah. Well, I don't know about that. <laughs> You'd be surprised. I'm pretty stupid, so it, you're, you're still going to have a job. Okay, good. All yeah, right. Yeah. Everything's available at the top layer of the screen here. Mm -hmm. So this is all touchscreen. Right. So I can go into my channel. I could double tap, and now I've got all my processing in here. So mm -hmm. I can kind of just show you, like, easy mode is like a preset-based workflow. So in sure. easy mode, you got your preset, channel mm -hmm. color, channel icon. You can actually name the track. It's nice that it's a fully interactive touchscreen. I really like that. Yeah, it's pretty convenient. Yeah, yeah, yeah. With no processing at all, mm -hmm. this is what it would sound like. So you can sure. kind of hear the S's, Sally, Sammy, Salami. Yeah. You hear that, all like that, the sibilance, stuff. a little yeah. harsh to the ear. Yeah. It's not as level. Like if I get real quiet or really loud, I'm not going to scream in your ear. Yeah, but yeah, yeah. yeah. We'll turn the processing back on, yeah. and now you've got that radio podcast sound. That sounds really yeah. good, yeah. So in easy mode, that's it's as simple as that. Right. And uh, you can go into the setup menu again, and we'll get you back into the setups assistant in mm -hmm. the easy mode. So like you can you can be up and running quickly. And then you've got an enhanced mode, which gives you a little bit more control. You've got your preset-based workflow. Now you've got your automatic gain setting. You can toggle your effects on and off. Sure, right. Ladies and gentlemen. Yeah, that's what I like to hear. Some reverb, some delay, and then you have your advanced controls tabs. And this is kind of like you can adjust your input gain. These these quick rotary knobs here map out to the processor on the screen, so uh -huh. I can adjust my gain. Mm -hmm. I can go into my EQ. I can add some some bass to my voice if I wanted to. I can mm -hmm. cut it out a little bit. Mm -hmm. You've got compression, noise gate, and de-essing that you can toggle on and off, or right. just by the slider, I can add more compression. And that's what you get in the enhanced mode. So like as you graduate from easy to enhanced to pro, it will kind of grow with you over time. Mm -hmm. So we've really bridged the gap from so someone that has no experience to a professional. Right. And, uh, and it, like I said, it, for, for time to come, it will basically, as you get more comfortable with it and, and have a little bit more, you want to experiment, like maybe you're learning more about EQ, you kind of want to do some adjustments, you can do that. <clears throat> and then in the pro mode, now I have a send, so I can pick and choose how much of the effect I want. I've got a pan, I've got my EQ, and this is all the processing that's taking place behind the curtain. Sure. So you have a high-pass filter. Yeah. Could roll out all the low end if I wanted to, bring yeah. it back in. Very, very old timey radio with that. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, that high pass. And then yeah. you can do. And you could do that as a preset, couldn't you? If you wanted to just swap over and be like, now I'm on old timey radio and then switch back. You yeah, ex do that. yeah, exactly. Yeah, you could dial in anything and you can save your own presets. This is the preset for this particular mic, right, but you course. can dial in your own and, and get it to what you want it to sound and like. If you wanted to assign it to one of the um, the buttons, could you just assign it to like a quick button? Yes, we can. There you go. That's what I wanted to hear. <laughs> That's what I'm. Yeah, that's what I'm talking about. <laughs> oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. All right. So then you got a gate. The gate's good because it's like in a, uh, all the background noise. So kind of we're in an environment now. It's a little like reflection. So you can basically set your gate like your air conditioner, cars driving by, or you're like in a reflection, like room with a lot of reflections. This will help like block the sound out, only opens up when, the, when you're talking. Right. And then a compressor, which is going to level your dynamics out for you. Yeah. So if you get like really loud or super quiet. Sure. And then that de was like with those, the Sally, the S's, the sibilance and things like that. It will help uh, tame that down. Right, of course. So those are all the tools that you're getting and, and it's non-destructive. So if I go back into easy mode, uh -huh. all of these settings that I've dialed in in pro mode are still mm -hmm. taking place. Right. It's just hidden from the user. Okay. Yeah. Fair. And if you ever mess anything up, you just load the preset again mm -hmm. and you'll be back back to where you were. And that's, that's nice too, because like for me personally... Um, when I am streaming, right, yeah. I would want more of this kind of podcasty sound, you know, because, you know, it's nicer for the live listener. But when Absolutely. I'm doing like auditions or anything in my booth, like I can have it still hooked up here and then I can turn all that off and just get the raw, like uncompressed. I can just do it as a preset and just be like, I just want like regular for when I'm recording because I just want to hear my voice, right? Yeah, absolutely. So you could actually do, uh, you could still hear all the effects, but uh -huh. with the recording, you can choose yeah. to bypass all the processing. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, so you can listen to yourself with like all the all the effects and everything dialed in that uh -huh. you like, but for then sure. when you're recording it, it's just a straight dry signal yep. that you can yep. then go back and edit in post or send it sure. to the guys at PCB and yeah, have them yeah. do all the editing for you exactly. and stuff like that. Yeah, so you can adjust your uh, your pre-delay, decay. You go in and fine-tune your effects that you want. We've got presets in here for, for that as well. Mm -hmm. um, here's your media tab. So whether you have an SD card or a thumb drive plugged in, you can access the files from here. Mm -hmm. 
you can store and save uh, snapshots. Basically, like if you go to a buddy's house or a place that you're constantly doing a show or a podcast, mm-hmm. you can you can dial that in yeah. and then uh, just this load like it up. Dave's house preset yep. or whatever. Boop. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Now the sample pads, we've got multiple banks of samples. You get the six presets. So like we played some of those kind of earlier, you sure, know. Yeah. Yeah, right. What the? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So you exactly, can go in there yeah. like that. The other cool thing that we've done in the uh, uh, current update is we've got uh, these sample pads where you can go in and uh, adjust your voice. Mm-hmm. So you can go into like an, you, there's control settings. So you've got mute group, censoring, locals only, intercom mode, fading, ducking, and you can assign it to toggle onto a pad or hold the pad. So when I have that effect on, so I can go into like an effect. I've got reverbs, delays. Here's like a telephone effect that I can dial on. I'll just turn the processor on mm-hmm. and we'll put it on your microphone. Sure. And when I hit the pad. Right. Okay. Hello. Here we go. Oh, okay. So that's like a radio effect type sure. of deal. And then you've got vocal effects in here. So you can pitch your voice up, pitch it down. Right. you got like a robot mode. There's this disguise mode that's kind of cool. So you can do something like that. Let's do that. What about that? Oh, whoa. Yeah, I hear it now. Yeah. Oh, that's cool. Oh, sweet. Sounds like I'm on a witness protection program thing. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. We could pitch here. We'll do like a robot, do that. Sure. Oh, hello. Hi. Hello. 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 Yippee. Wahoo. Oh, that's so cool. So quickly by just toggling a pad on, you get those effects mm-hmm. and you can dial it into what you want. Mm-hmm. And uh, you've got all those empty banks to, to do that. So it's like really mm-hmm. quick, fast. Um, another cool thing that we have is uh, customizable uh, mixes, which mm-hmm. I know you were talking about earlier, which right. is... I can go into the headphone mix, right? and if I do this now, you're not going to hear anything yet until I set it up, but I can create a custom headphone mix, and I could pick and choose what channels you're hearing. Oh, very cool. So like now I'm, now I'm hearing myself. Okay, yep. now so, I'm hearing both of us. Yeah, so I can pick and choose the channels, and these, this is good Like if you have a producer. Right. He's like feeding you stats or something. You don't want the producer to go into the stream. Well, I can create this custom mix, and I yeah. can send this out to my stream. Okay. Cool. Yeah, so I can have Spotify streaming, right. and then I can create a custom mix where I, we're listening to Spotify, but right. the stream doesn't get it you right, know, for right, right. copyright infringement. Sure, right, of course. Multiple use yeah. cases. You could use this live, so it's like an aux send on an analog mixer. Like uh-huh. if I wanted to run it down to a monitor wedge, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. I could do that as well. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Yeah, so custom headphone mixes, uh, quick mix options. It's going to give you the mix on the board, and then you can quickly add or take away for uh, for speed. Mm-hmm. And uh, you've got Bluetooth call-in support, so we'll call in a guest. You can link your phone into here, and it's got mix minus. Okay. So basically what that means is, like, they're going to hear the entire mix of what's going on in the mixer, our samples, our effects, minus their own voice. Okay. So there's no loop back, no delay, or anything like that. Mm -hmm. So I'll call in someone real quick, make sure your phone's connected, and then we'll we'll hear that into the stream. I'm I'm hearing that through. Oh, that's so cool. Hey, Richie, what's up, man? Hey, Brad. How's it going? Good, man. We're over here at PCB, and I've got Octopimp with me. We're checking out the DLZ XS. We just wanted to uh, see what you thought of the sound quality. How's that sound? It sounds amazing. What's wow. Up, Octo? Hey, hi. Wow. It's amazing. Amazing. Can you hear my uh, voice effect? Think I'm... Oh, oh, wow. Oh, my that? gosh. Ah! Oh, that's so cool. So it goes through into the phone. So it's going into there and then to the phone. Yeah. Oh, wow. So we can go in. I can add, like, a little effect over there. Oh. Oh. That's really, really cool. Well, yeah. thanks, guys, for calling me. <laughs> yeah, thanks thanks for picking up and letting us test this out. That's cool as heck. So, and, of course, all this is being recorded to the disc. Right, right. So, so we'll have all that for post-production later. So when you take the file out later, it's, it's yeah. all recorded on there. That's so cool. The other cool thing is we've got channel 9 and 10. So you've got uh, you've got two stereo USB audio returns coming okay. back from the computer with Mix Minus as well. Okay. So I could have Discord on one, two. I could have Twitch on three, four. And mm-hmm. those two separate programs will be routed into my mixer. And I've got Mix Minus. So people can come onto the chat and you can interact in real time. Mm-hmm. Same thing we just did with the phone. Right. Yeah, with our live stream. Last but not least is the uh, in the newest update we have is NDI. So mm-hmm. if you're familiar with that, it's a network data interface. Okay. It's a company called New Tech. It's, a, it's an open source platform that they created. Mm-hmm. And uh, it allows us to connect and send audio via Ethernet. Okay. Yeah, so you can plug out of the Ethernet jack into a router, and you can share like an IP address through their plugins that they offer, mm-hmm. a bundle. And um, yeah, you can, you can uh, collaborate with anyone across the world that has an internet connection via NDI. You've got outputs like for your monitors, we've got our level here. We also got like an output delay so you can kind of try to sync it up with your with your video if you're having problems with that. Sure. Uh for the software updates and things like that, like 
are there going to be like updates to change the functionality? Like if you add new features or things like that? Yeah, we've already awesome. had two updates since it's been out. Oh, awesome. uh, we implemented the NDI and then we also uh, multi-language support. Oh, okay, cool. Yeah, so we've got multi-language support. I think it's up to like nine languages that wow. we have. Okay. Uh, the NDI functionality and of course the uh, we just added in the uh, vocal effects for the pads. Okay. Um, but yeah, we've, we've got a lot of stuff on the roadmap. Currently, the NDI is only stereo, but, uh, you know, uh, sneak peek, we're, we're planning to do every individual channel okay. via NDI as well. Awesome. So it's uh, like multi-track support that way. But right. yeah, there's a lot. Of, we have a, like, our Discord channel is great. A lot of users on there. I think it's over like 500 users currently. Wow, cool. And uh, yeah, they're, they're, uh, there's a lot of uh, feature updates. A lot of the people moving over from other products, sure. uh, like the Go XLR that's sure. like no longer supported. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So these are your volume controls. Okay, got it. Yeah. So you've got kind of the way it works, like from top to bottom, you have your input gain or your gain stage. That's right, like right. your preamp. Mm-hmm. And then you're going to go through all your processing, like right. your high pass, your EQ, right. gate, compressor, de Sure. And then you've got your volume control at the bottom is mm-hmm. like how loud you want to listen to that sound that sure. you've created. Yeah, yeah. No, yeah. This is great. This is awesome. It feels like it does everything that you would need for both podcasting and live streaming because, you know, I, I'm looking at it from a live streaming perspective. Sure. You know, and being able to just handle all that here rather than here and another program and another program or, you know, like putting filters on an OBS because like you can do audio filters in OBS. Yeah. So you can kind of do that, but it's not going to be as nice and doing it through hardware is obviously a lot better. So just having that all here, uh, and in addition to all the effects and all the presets and that kind of stuff is like so convenient. Better. And it, it's just, it's like a really, really nice sound card. Like it's, you know, it's just got everything you would need for, for audio works. So that's so cool. The feature that I was really, really interested in the most was, um, the fact that you can have like, an audio source coming in and then not necessarily played out anywhere else. I think that's really cool. Custom mix. Yeah, yeah, the custom mix. Yeah, that's, that's really cool. yeah, available to you right here. Yeah, yeah, for sure. Double tap in the pro mode and then you hit custom. And then, of course, that's the kind of the big thing is you can send that custom mix out over USB. So usually by default, your channel one and two, like mm-hmm. if you plug in any sound card, I mean, mm-hmm. usually that's your main output to your mm-hmm. speakers. Right. Um, but that feed will also feed into your stream. Right. But in your sound settings, whether yeah. on PC or Mac, you can go in and do input three, four. Right. And that would be this custom mix that you, mm-hmm. whatever you build on here. Yeah. So like you could have it playing something and you would hear it and you're streaming here, but it wouldn't be recording to the VOD, which is nice. Cause you can do that through OBS. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, cause right now a lot of people have to use a digital audio cable, but this fills that gap. So right. It's basically built into the mixer itself rather than having to download a program or use something that's basically being a dummy cable and then, um, yeah. and then not recording it to the VOD rather than, um, so, like, you can listen to stuff while you're streaming, and then it won't show up on the VOD later because it's all done through here. That's so cool. I love that. That's, like, that's like huge. That's so huge because having to change, having to have that, like, dummy channel right. is a huge, is kind of annoying because it, it doesn't always work. And um, it's kind of a pain to set up, and sometimes it just won't set up at all. I've, right. I, I remember on my previous PC, I tried to get it set up and it just didn't work. So, like, I think that would be really cool to just have that custom mix. Um going into OBS and then like choosing what is recorded onto the VOD versus what isn't. That's so neat. I love that. Well, you think you could use something like this in your I, live stream? I mean, yeah. I mean, yes. <laughs> the answer to that is yes, but it's, it's so cool. Cause also the other problem is if I need to change my volume while I'm doing anything, I either have to like press the button on the total mix and then move it or click out of the program I'm currently in. And if it's a game, that's oh, a huge yeah. problem because I have to alt tab and then I have to open total mix and do this. But for this, I mean, obviously it'd be really nice just to be able to mess with my gain or mess just with any, uh, yeah, e- any EQ that I need to do. That's really cool. So this is DLZ XS and this yeah. is the uh, expansion to the DLZ creator. Right. So creator XS is the little, little brother I like to call it. Yeah. And uh, what's cool is we have a bigger unit. So this is the DLZ creator. Yeah. This, this is the the big guy. Yeah. This has four XLR inputs? The original. This, yeah. This guy's big. Yeah. So you got a 10.1 inch screen. So much bigger screen, more real estate there. You've got mm-hmm. faders. And then uh, the other difference is the four microphones, four headphone outputs. Yeah. So if you need more people for your stream, um, if you're if you're doing that type of thing, this is the this is the one to go for here. Mm-hmm. Want to check that out? Yeah. And oh, it's uh, it's, it's very light. Yeah. You know, it's very light, very robust. Mm-hmm. Um, but we also offer a backpack for this one as well. 
Okay. So we have a backpack that will like hold up to two mics. Um, you can put oh, your cables in there, adapters. That's nice. So it's not just for the mixer. It's also for the headphones and for the mics and stuff. Yeah, you could put your that's accessories really nice. in there, so it makes it a little convenient. And like I said, it, I mean, it looks big, but when you're when you're carrying it no, in a it's backpack, not it's, heavy. it's, really it's heavy. not heavy at all. No, it's not that heavy. And it, it seems like it has a lot of the same inputs and Yeah, features. so uh, you're going to get the NDI. You're going to get the two USB audio returns on, on both devices. The only difference is the screen size. You're going to get encoders on this rather than the faders. Right. And you get two mics, two headphones. This is uh-huh. going to give you four and four. Right. Four mics, four headphones. So this guy, you know, it's it's a seven uh, seven inch display. Uh, Touchscreen, all the stuff that we talked about, everything is the same internally. So all the all the stuff that we went over, all the processing, recording functionality, the NDI, uh, call-in support, Bluetooth, the mix minus, all mm-hmm. of it, it, it's the same. Yeah, just the inputs and outputs, and then the size. Mm-hmm. So for like portability, mm-hmm. this is this is a great option. Oh, if yeah. it's just you, you can just toss this in like a backpack or whatever, yeah. you know, or, or like a like a soft case, and then just bring it with you. That's so nice because this, you know, this is a little bigger. So, it, but for that, that's just so nice to have, and it's it's got all the power, you know. Yeah, everything everything's the same. So you're gonna not, you're not gonna lose anything just yeah. besides the inputs. But the, what's cool is like the portability, throwing it in a bag. I currently I had this one on my desk at home, and it mm-hmm. was like, man, this thing is it's pretty big. You know, yeah. it takes up a lot of real estate. But mm-hmm. this, I have it off to the corner. Yep, it's very convenient. Yeah, you know, one. when you're done, just throw your boom over, and it's like boom, you're you're ready to rock. Yeah, yeah, this thing is really nice because it fit would fit perfectly on my desk, like right in the center where I currently have my mixer. Yeah. But like. This guy is a little a little on the big side. I mean, this is for more like a like a serious podcasting setup, right? Yeah, like, yeah. If you need more mics and more more setup, but it it's got everything you need if that's what you're doing. The breadth of features that are in everything, and especially I like the touch screen. It's just so nice just to have that sort of tactile, like you get to press something rather than clicking on it. It's really nice. So I like that a lot. No, this is great. This is so cool. Great, man. All right. Well, uh, let them know where they can find you. Uh, I'm Hi, I'm Octopimp everywhere. Twitter, YouTube, Twitch, whatever. That's it. We're out. Peace.